As I was saying, that means that the risk of a no deal remains real and basically it's going to come down to a decision by the United Government, but it will never be the choice, the preferred option of the European Union. And that's why I think it is better now to focus on what we can do in terms of concluding that deal, something which is desirable and still, in my view, possible. The main sticking point is the safety net, the backstop, in other words. Now, everybody by now has heard of the backstop, but not everybody understands why the backstop was agreed between the 27 and the UK government. The safety net, or the backstop, is an operational solution to a practical problem. I said to Prime Minister Johnson that I had no emotional attachment to the safety net, to the backstop, but I stated that I stand by the objectives that it is designed to achieve. And that is why I called on the Prime Minister to come forward with operational proposals in writing for practical steps which would allow us to achieve those objectives. Now, until such time as those proposals have been presented, I will not be able to tell you, looking you straight in the eye, that any real progress has been achieved. But what I can tell you is, and this perhaps runs counter to many press articles uh, that have appeared in the UK, I can tell you that the talks we had were friendly, constructive and, in part, positive. I asked the British Prime Minister to spell out the alternative arrangements that he is envisaging, and I said that there should be political negotiations in the positive sense of the term between the UK and the EU, and I will entrust my colleague Michel Barnier, as well as the UK Brexit Minister, to take up and pursue those negotiations so that they don't remain purely at technical level.